there will be airports in the future. There won't be airports in the future. Will there be airports in the future? Yes, there will. No, there won't. Hello, everybody. Okay, let's go on to your pupil's book, page number 73. On this page, you've got an introduction to a new structure uh, that we're going to use in the future, which is Will there be nanana -na -na in the future? For example, will there be libraries in the future? Will there be hotels in the future? Okay, before we learn how to make these questions, we're going to learn how to make affirmative and negative sentences uh, in the future, okay? So look at this we've got here. Remember from last year that we use will when we want to talk about something that will happen in the future. And want is the negative form of will. So how do we make an affirmative sentence? Here we've got an example. There will be airports in the future. Okay, here where we've got the word airports, we can write down any other word. Okay, any other word. Like there will be hotels in the future, there will be ice rinks in the future, there will be universities in the future, whatever. How do I make this sentence negative? Well, since I've told you the negative form of will is want, we just go here and we make it negative. There won't be airports in the future. There won't be hotels in the future. There won't be ice rinks in the future. Whatever, okay? You can change these words for any place in the city or anything else that you want. How do I make the question, right? Remember that to make the questions, I always tell you that we need to move like things around a little bit, okay? So we need to place the word will at the beginning of the sentence. Will there be airports in the future? Will there be hotels in the future? Will there be uh, ice rinks in the future? Whatever, right? And then, as always, we have two possible answers. An affirmative answer, which is yes, there will, or a negative answer, which is no, there will want okay very good let's move here for example i'm just gonna erase this and i'm going to ask you to make this sentence negative the sentence is there will be hotels in the future everybody with me there what do i need to write down now which is the negative form of will want so there won't be hotels in the sorry future okay now i want to make the uh the question right so what word do i need to write down first well so will there be hotels in the future very good so now I give you this sentence here, there will be ice rings in the future, and I want you to make it negative and also the question, okay? Come on, let's do it. Okay, good. So do you have the answer for the sentence I gave you before? The affirmative sentence is there will be ice rings in the future. So how do we make this negative? Come on, everybody. There, which is a negative form of will want, very good, so there will want be ice rings in the future, very good. Now I want to make the question, so which is the first word I need to write down, remember we move things around, will, very good, there be ice rings in the future, well done, and we've got two possible answers, remember the affirmative answer, which will be yes, there will or yet it always change this because it thinks it's the name and the negative one is no there want very good well done okay now i give you this sentence everybody okay there will be hotels in the future i want you to write down in a very small piece of paper the negative 
the question and the two possible answers, okay? I'll be back in a minute and we'll correct it. Okay, hello again. So let's correct. There will be hotels in the future. What did you write down? Which is the, the negative form of this sentence? Come on. There won't be hotels in the future. Well done. What about the question? What is the first word I need to write down? Well, there yet will there, sorry, will there be hotels in the future? And the affirmative answer would be yes, there will. And the negative answer will be no, comma, don't forget the commas, there want. Okay, very good. Well done. Okay, children, to end up the lesson, I want you to go to your class book, page number 72. And what I want you to do is do orally, and then you can take a piece of paper and do it also uh, written. I want you to take four words of the new vocabulary and make the affirmative sentence, the negative sentence, the question, and the two possible answers. Okay, four. Four of them. You have to choose four out of the 12 words we have here. Cuatro de las doce. Okay? Yes. I'm going to give you an example. I have here the flashcards, so I'm going to give you an example. I have here, for example, library. So the example would be uh, the, affirmative, the affirmative sentence, sorry, there will be libraries in the future. Negative sentence, there won't be libraries in the future. And the question, will there be libraries in the future? Yes, there will. No, there won't. Okay, another plus word. What's this? Let's remember. Airport. So, there will be airports in the future. There won't be airports in the future. Will there be airports in the future? Yes, there will. No, there won't. Okay, so now choose four words of the vocabulary and you can practice orally. And once you have done it, you have done it, sorry, you can take a piece of paper and write down the sentences using those four words, okay? Well done. Bye-bye. See you.